I'm a two-time SCA alumni uh, working on the Pacific Crest Trail out of Joshua Tree and in the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. Um, so I interned for six months in San Francisco and then less than a year later I'm now hired on as staff being an assistant crew leader. Hi everyone, I'm Christine Chung and I, um, I go to school at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, I'm a junior there. Um, I'm doing my second SCA internship in Connecticut as a ornithology intern. And last summer, I did an internship in California as a bear management intern. And this past spring break, I did an alternative spring break trip with SCA. And it, it was all awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jermaine Robinson. I started with the SCA in high school, my 11th grade year. Um, and basically, interns would come out and take us out on um, field trips um, and certain trails. So recently, my passion for nature, trails, everything has come back. So I reached out to the SCA, and I got a position working with the National Park Service um, doing outreach um, to urban communities about the trails. And it's a hard position, but it's really fun in trying to get the more urban communities out on the trails. And everyone has just been great in like, the whole process. He's working with RTCA in DC. Hi. Oh, sorry. I'm Annie Fairmont. Um, I'm a high school success story. I uh, started uh, SCA my summer after my freshman year, did two weeks on Mountain Year. Um, joined the Conservation Leadership Corps, which really allowed the high school students to sort of take charge of um, some events that were happening in the city, and it was definitely a great experience. Got to go to Alaska twice, um, was an assistant crew leader in the North Cascades for 10 days, and then after I graduated high school, I did the New Hampshire Conservation Corps for 10 months with a D-man back there. And um, currently I'm going to Humboldt State University um, and I'm really hoping to get involved in some recruiting in the area, in some of the high schools. Hi hey guys, um, I'm Sarah Thayer. I um, am a senior at Trinity College in Connecticut. And um, I actually just jumped on board with FCA in March, also doing an alternative spring break, um, where we planted uh, native species in the Grand Canyon and learned a lot, so that was very hands-on. and then. This summer I'm working for the National Park Service through SCA, um, actually working on a hiking guide and website, so it really, you can do anything. Um, and I would never imagine I would ever be here today without SCA at all, so it's been a wonderful experience. Which trail are you working on, the hiking guide for? Oh, I'm working on um, the Potomac Heritage National Scenic Trail guide and website, so look for that, it's going to be a lot better and awesome. <laughs> I'm going to school at Cal Poly right now for a master's in biology. And I started off in high school. Actually, Ashley and I <laughs> um, went out to supper a couple times in high school, and I just saw her at lunch. I was like, I know you. <laughs> and um, so I was in the high school core in Virginia on the AT, um, and then I went up to Alaska in Lake Clark National Park. <laughs> Small world. And then I did fire education as an intern on the Turtle Mountain um, Indian Reservation. Hi, um, I'm Maddie Crane. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, actually. Um, I am halfway through my year-long internship with the SEA in uh, the Golden Gate National Recreation Area as the climate change intern, and I inventory greenhouse gases and for the parks. It's a specific program that Pacific West is piloting, but we want to expand it if we can. Yeah. Hi, my name is. Oh, uh, <laughs> my name is um, Dustin Rothberg. Some like to call me D Man, like Annie. Um, I started out with the SCA after I dropped out of college, <laughs> taking time off. Uh, with the, uh, I joined the New Hampshire Conservation Corps, and uh, 10 months in the woods teaches you a lot. Uh, did things I never thought I would be doing, like 
cutting down trees in the name of conservation, but no. <laughs> um, so I did that, and then afterwards I joined uh, the Golden Gate National Rec Area as an intern with the boss lady, Andrea Franklin, over there. And uh, then after that I did the NCC and had all my ten fingers and toes because of Lee Galt, safety man. Uh, but yeah, no, and now I work with Golden Gate National Recreation Area as an assistant leader. So, internships pay off in the end. So, how many more people do we have? I, I want to make sure we have time for questions for all the panelists. There's two more? Okay, cool. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm an attorney in Mammoth Cave, Kentucky, in the National Park, Mammoth Cave National Park. And um, I'm a trail monitoring intern. And um, I learned about the internship through alternative spring break. Uh, back in May, like right before I graduated, and so I'm also getting to work with endangered plant species and wildlife and law enforcement to deal with poaching issues. So it's been a great internship, and I've learned a lot so far. Hi, I'm Lindsay Waring, and I'm, uh, I've been in four national parks three times as an SCA and grown up with SCA in New Hampshire. Um, I've met Liz multiple times in her many of her speeches, and she's awesome. And if she talks, if you ever meet her and she talks about SCA, it's like her baby. She will cry. She <laughs> loves it so much. When she started, her story is just so inspiring. She had to actually just use her initials um, so people wouldn't know she was a woman. It was a real wonderful story to hear. And it just, it's so cool to see other programs. SCA is awesome and gets youth involved, but to hear about another summer programs, it just sounds so great and it would be awesome if other schools in the country could take on a program like that and hearing stories like that, that's what I think about is yeah. other people hearing that program, taking it to their school district and bringing it back because SA is great for a lot of people in college, but it's also important when you're young to make that connection. Well, Lindsay, I'm really glad you said that because one of the things that I think is so cool about SA internships um, not just our high school program, is that if you have a program like what Jermaine, um, what Jermaine's working on, if you have a program that you want to engage youth in, bring on an SCA intern to help spearhead that. You know, we've got to be using our youth to be um, engaging youth.